2015 Rugby World Cup quarterfinals kick off this weekend, and with me to preview the four matches is IB Times sports editor Nick Howson. Looking at the match between New Zealand and France, mm. going into it, you'd think that New Zealand, the All Blacks, reigning champions, overwhelming favourites, and yet history between these two sides should suggest some uh, err to the side of caution, I guess, for the yeah. All Blacks. Yeah, very much so. I mean, we only have to look at 1990, we have to look at 2007, probably even 2011 in some ways, the fact that France got as close as they actually did to beating that, that New Zealand side that was uh, awash with nerves. And yes, as you say, New Zealand's record is actually quite good against France. Recent record is quite good against France. But when it comes to a World Cup, it's a, it's a different pressure cooker, a different environment. And New Zealand have been known to buckle under it. And, and France so often very much play with no fear. Uh, they'll go into this game with no expectation at all. They've not been particularly uh, convincing in this tournament. They've won, won by healthy margins in, in their pool matches against Italy, Romania and Canada. Uh, but they were very, they were pretty woeful against uh, Ireland in the end. Who obviously, it, despite the injuries they got, were still able to ease to victory over France at the millennium. So it should be a very exciting game. There's even report, there's reports of uh, infighting in, in the French camp. They've they've apparently sacked uh, Philippe Saint Andre, who will leave at the end of the tournament. Potentially this will be his last game as well. So um, there were a lot of comments before, you know, the fact that the French team they seem quite united. Sometimes they feel you see, they seem more united when they're actually separated and when there's actually a bit of infighting, a bit of, and a bit of needle there. So maybe this might this might make the team unite somewhat. Uh, but as you said at the top, you know you can't look past New Zealand. Certainly the tournament, still the tournament favourites, reigning champions, uh, and from that point of view, you can't really see past them. Well, for all our coverage of the Rugby World Cup, go to our website, ibtimes.co.uk.